Bass Geek here, and I want all you geeks that's been here for years and years, tell all the new geeks, tell all the people that ain't geeks yet, who has been talking about the Domeki rig longer than anybody. Who's been talking about mid strolling, the hover rig, moping, whatever you want to call it. What channel? has been bringing it to you for years before everybody else knew what it was. But Geek did. Man, do I got something to show you. That's right, Geeks. We've got a little unboxing from Lornet right now, and this stuff is coming out. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's out yet. I know it's coming out during the Classic, and this video is, I think, the week before the Classic is when we're dropping this video. But before we even talk about that, guys, I want to talk to you, Geeks, about the 100% Watch Squad. You, Geeks who are part of the 100% Watch Squad, really help this channel out. And I want to say thank you very much. I want to say the 100% Watch Squad rocks. All you have to do to join is watch the videos when they come out 100% of the time and watch 100% of the videos. What that does is that helps this channel grow. The YouTube algorithm picks up watch time and how many people watch it as soon as it comes out or within the first 24 hours and how much of a percentage you geeks watch. So 100% Watch Squad, my 100 something else in the comment section below. Make sure you hashtag that 100% Watch Squad down there. Let us know who you are. We love you hundo. Now on to this unboxing. Lornet has sent some really cool stuff and this stuff isn't even out yet. I don't think at the time of this video, it either comes out this weekend during the Bassmaster Classic, which is a few days after this video drops. So make sure you go check them out. You keep an eye on the website. Now you guys know, I've talked about Domeki rigging. You guys have seen me Domeki rig. You've seen me do this for years and years and years with, without forward facing sonar. I have done this forever and a day. It is an incredible little bait. But one of the things that we've discovered and I've discovered over the years, everybody wants to downsize when it gets tough, but a lot of times you need to upsize. I can't tell you how many times me and my buddy Mike and me and my buddy Jeremy have been out on the water and we're throwing those little three inches and we can't get a bite. But we pick up a four or five and they flat go nuts over it. So let me show you what Lornette sent us. All right, geeks, let me show you what's in this box. Now listen, it's not just minnow baits. They've sent some pretty cool baits, some pretty cool hard baits that work perfect this time of year. These are custom paint jobs. I don't know if some of them, I think the FX series is a permanent series, but I think these other crankbait colors are just temporary. They normally only run about 300 of them. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna start showing you the jerk baits first. These are my some of my favorite late winter, early spring jerk baits. They're a little bit bigger than a lot of your jerk baits, so you're gonna get a little bigger bite. You're really gonna call these bass that are truly feeding heavy, wanting that big meal to you. These are the Perfect 10 by Smithwick, and these are in the FX colors. This is Violet Cream. This is Blue Violet. This is Oil Green. And this is Violet Sartreuse. But make sure you go check those out. I believe they also have the FX series in the standard suspending rogue, which is pretty amazing colors. I went out and bought a bunch of them. Geeks, something I want you guys to go check out. And by the way, I've got a code right here for a discount. Go check them out. Boat effects, the steps. If you guys haven't seen the video, I put steps on this boat and I put steps on old Ruby, the old Triton. They make them for anything, all made in the USA, by the way. They manufacture right here in the United States. It's not sourced out. And something else, the locks, the mounts, protect your graphs. You don't want somebody coming and stealing your graphs. So like I said, Make sure you check out Boat Effects. They do help the channel out. Put steps on your boat. I don't want anything happening to you geeks. Like I said, I fell off of Old Ruby last year. Cracked my elbow, cracked my heel. Could have been much, much worse. Jam the back. I know guys who have passed away at boat ramps because of falling in the winter into the water, knocking themselves out and drowning. I need you geeks here watching invest in the steps okay all right let's get back to this unboxing 
Now this is a great color this time of year, especially when the bass are out just a little bit deeper. This is the Norman Deep Little Inn. Great little crankbait. This is the Table Rock Crawl. This is the Orange Belly Crawl. This is the Red Swamp Crawl. So now we're gonna talk about really what we're here for, and that is the Yum FF Sonar Minnow. These are the five inchers, and I'm telling you, we've used another five inch bait before and just slayed on them. These things have got some really good size, some really good girth. Take a drink, geeks. You know what we're talking about, and this is one of my favorite colors. This is the Clear Shad. This is AU. Gizzard Shad. This is natural shad, sight minnow. Another one of my favorites, this is the JC natural shad. This is 10 killer gold. This is Tennessee shad, Houdini shad. And this is Gobi. Geeks, I'm not going to run through all the four inches. I'm going to show you a little bit of size comparison. They sent me the same exact colors. It comes in, like I said, four and five. So here's the size comparison. This is the four, of course. This is the five. All right, geeks, that is all that Lornet sent me. There will be links in the description. And for the most part, there's a 15% off code on all this stuff, too. So uh, you're going to get it cheap. You feel me? Anyway, geeks, I know that this sort of bait goes with forward facing sonar but i have stressed this i say it in every single video trust me we were doing this well before there was a forward facing sonar you can do it with a completely and 110 percent without a graph at all to be honest so get out there and try it and if you don't know go look at some of the how to's that i put out i've got 100 million of them i believe on this exact subject uh and i'll probably do 100 million more so stay tuned if you don't want to go back and watch right join that 100 percent watch squad like i said earlier all right as always questions and comments in the comment section below like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications you can be part of the 100 percent watch squad because if you don't know the videos are coming out you don't know to watch them ring that bell and as always you geeks rock all right geeks let's see who won the march bait works bass geek box oh where we at Paste that in, get the replies, filter duplicate users, math it up, get those comments, 140, thank you geeks. Patrick Collins, you're the winner, hashtag line, thanks for all the great tips. I do appreciate you, sir. I'll leave a comment down there for you. And as always, geeks, you geeks rock.